Hello. Uh, so this is Move AI. You've probably seen this online, and a lot of people trying out the markless mockup uh, system. And actually, it's pretty cool. I've tried myself. They used to require you to have at least two cameras, uh, but now there is a new app called Move One, and you need to have an iPhone. But then you can just record from your iPhone and you will output uh, mocap data. Um, I've tested it and, and as I said, it's pretty impressive. But I'm sure you must be wondering how you can use this skeleton to your own character. Or in this case, I'm going to show in the mannequin skeleton. Uh, so let's have a look. So I'm going to import the move uh, AI FBX that I've created myself and the FBX here I'll reset the default just to talk through it but I want to import the skeleton mesh I want to import the mesh I don't want to select any skeleton because I want to create a new one and I want to check these import animations so if I import that should be it I have my skeleton mesh, my animation, physics assets, and the skeleton. So we just play the animation just so we can see. Um, yeah, it's a very simple skeleton, um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So to create the IK rig, we need to create something similar to this one. Uh, basically, we are going to go through all these chains here and recreating them using trying to use the same names as this one so it's easier to match. So if I right click on the skeleton mesh, create IK rig. And first thing first is that I need to set my retarget root to be the hips. Set retarget root for, root for hips. Uh, that's a very easy step to forget, <laughs> so that's why I like to do it first. And now let's creating all, let's start creating all those chains here. So, root needs one. Uh, so right click new target, new retarget chain. Just add chain. Spine in this case is just two bones called the spine. Then. In this rig here, the right shoulder is is on top of the spine here in the neck, but actually it's a different bone. So this will be the right clavicle. Right clavicle. And then the arm will be right arm, forearm and hand. In this case, I want an IK rig, uh, an IK solver in the end of this chain because I want to be able to tweak that when we do the retargeting, the mockup, you can tweak the value a little bit so you can refine your retarget animation. So I would add chain and go here. And then I'll create a new solver, full body IK. Okay. We'll complain that the solver doesn't have a root bone. So if I go here in the right arm and set root bone on selected solver. No, sorry. Uh, the root bone will be the hips as well. Set root bone on selected solver. Um, and then for here, let's just, I'll just change the value of the bones to be one so we can see a little bit better. But basically the mannequin has metacarpals and three bones for each finger, as you can see here. Um, so this is the metacarpal and then the three, one, two, three, here. Um, move AI is similar, but um, the same metacarpal works for the index and for the thumb. And then all the rest is, uh, they have their own metacarpals. So let's create this just as right index metacarpal. I'll just copy this word because I'll be using a lot. Add chain. Then index right index. Because the namings are not 
uh, is thunder, so it's not picking up. It's not suggesting the right uh, names in here. Right thumb. Uh, and now these are the metacarpals. So I can just select the three of them. And because they are not a chain, it will create a different chain for each of them. But that's what I want. So palm two is actually middle metacarpal. Palm three is ring metacarpal. Palm four is pinky metacarpal. And then let's create the chains for the fingers. Right, middle, done. So a new feature from, I think it's from 5.1, is that you can mirror these chains now, which is great. <laughs> So you just click on them, mirror chains. It will automatically pick up that you were selecting a right chain, so we will rename as left. And it will try to find the bones for the chain on the other side. Uh, I will select here using go, but actually I'll have to create a new go for the left arm. But we'll do that later. Uh, so this is the metacarpal, it's actually picking up correctly, surprising me. Um, and all the names are correct. Cool. So now we have our left chains as well for the arm. We just need to create a new IK. So, so left hand, um, new IK go. Assign go, and then here it changes to left hand go. So now let's do the legs, which are pretty simple here. Oh, neck and head as well. I'm getting just the three bones in here left leg. And actually, I want to set an IK as well. So I'll just go left foot, new IK, assign go. And then I'll just manually do this because it's super easy. I don't need to mirror. Um, oops. Right leg go. Yeah. All fine. Cool. So this is how it should be looking. Uh, if we save, now we need to link this IK rig which with this one. So the way to do that is right click animation retargeting, IK retargeted. So in this case the source is the move one because that's the animation I want to get from and the target is the mannequin. Um, we can move the mannequin a bit to the side on here. These are preview settings. You can just change, uh, changing them will just change how, it won't affect the actual retargeting, just uh, about the visualization here. Um, you'll notice that the Mannequin, for some reason, is coming with this weird pose. So the shoulders are up, the hands are down. Uh, it looks very strange. So what we do is that we go to target here, and then we go edit retarget pose. So here we can select the bones of the arms. I'll just do very quickly. I mean, you can, you can spend more time on these, and you can also... Um, Create a new pose from an animation from Pose Asset if you have, you know, an animation file with the correct T pose, for example. But I will just do it quickly here, so just we can have a look. 
um, and save, go back to retargeter, okay. So he's trying to match the chains that we've created with the chains from the mannequin. So we can see root, root, spine, spine, head, head, left clavicle is right clavicle for some reason. <laughs> um, I can see a left clavicle, maybe we forgot to create. Um, let me try here, clavicle. Oh yes, it didn't mirror this one. So let me mirror this chain. Oops. Mirror. It's not popping up, I'm not sure why. Let's just manually create it. Left shoulder, new retarget chain called left clavicle. There you go. So you just edit the files here and will automatically appear in here. So if you go left clavicle now, hopefully, yes. Um, left arm and then the mannequin has a lot of twist bones. So we need to change those to be known. Because if not, it just completely breaks the animation. So all the twist here I'm changing to none. Everything else should be correct. Wish there was a way to select more than one and just set them as none, but <laughs> that would do it. And these are all the IK like placement for props and guns and everything. So we just leave them as always known as well. I think that's it. I just save. Um, now to see if it's actually working, we go to the asset browser and then we just double click in the animation we want to play. So if we double click, yeah, you can see that's working. Yeah, it's actually translating pretty good. So a couple of things that you can edit in here. So if you go to global settings, you can enable or disa <laughs> disable uh, root. Same for FK, if you want to just be driven by IK or if you want just to be driven by FKs and not IK. Um, you can change the root as well, edit it. Uh, you know, it can go, if you need to translate it for some reason, it needs to be higher or lower. Um, you can make it just translation but not rotation. Or So here you can see that is not rotating or you can just rotate but not translate um, and then you can also in each of these chains you can actually edit it so let's for example let's check the left arm so in this case it's actually translating pretty well but I think there is a bit of collision here sure yeah, so let's say that it's colliding here and I want to move this hand just slightly um, to the side. So if I go here to the, click on the chain and I go to the IK mode here, I can offset a little bit. So for example, if I live in here, I think it's fine. And then the rest of the animation is playing completely fine. I'm not breaking everything. Uh, is just adding a little offset so the arms are not as close to the body. And this is very helpful because you can add it on every single animation if you want, or you can just have as a default change. And of course, if characters have different proportions and body proportions and things like that, you can keep tweaking and 
and just making sure it all works. So to export this, you just click in the animation and click export selected animations. I'll just save here and I'll save as Move AI Manic uh, as a suffix. It's pretty quick to save and now I should have Manic animation playing my Move AI mocha. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And thanks for watching. See you next time.